Hello and welcome to another video. In this video, we'll be doing multiple regression analysis using Excel in Office 365. For those who are familiar with multiple regression, multiple regression means we're doing regression analysis, but we have more than one independent variable. So in simple regression, we looked at the correlation and the regression analysis of the independent variable depending on one single independent variable. Here, we're going to look at, for example, the heating cost of a house. What affects the heating cost? We picked three factors. The outside temperature in degrees Celsius, the insulation in the attic in centimeters, and the age of the furnace in years. We're going to do multiple regression and see which one of these variable we can eliminate because it doesn't have a great effect on the variation in heating cost on that. So if you watch the video for simple regression, then it's the same step. We're going to go to data ribbon, data analysis, and Excel doesn't have a simple and multiple regression. Excel has only regression. So to do a multiple regression in Excel, it's very important to have all the independent variable side by side. Don't leave an empty column between them and don't put the dependent variable in between those. So we're going to go to regression. Click OK, as we did with simple regression, and it's going to ask us to input the Y range, which is the dependent variable. In our case, it's the heating cost. So we're going to enter that. In the simple regression, it asks us to input the X range, and we selected that one variable. Here, we're going to select all columns and that's why it's very important not to leave empty columns between the dependent variable, sorry, the independent variable or axis, because Excel will take that empty column as one of the variables. So we can select a range of two, three, four, five columns, doesn't matter. Also, similar to everything we did in Excel, I selected the labels. It's very important to check this box, otherwise, it will take the labels included in the calculation you will get is error. The confidence level, we're going to keep it at 95. Let's put the output in a new worksheet so we can have a big picture and look at the analysis. And also, if you want to put the residual plot, or the line fit plots, you can do that. So let's do the line fit plots. Click OK, and that's all what you need. So now, Excel will do the multiple regression for us. It will specify everything we did in simple regression, but it will do it for all three variables. So let's look at the output in Excel. First, you can see that it's the same thing. This is the multiple R, this is the coefficient of correlation. It's highlighted 0 0.85, which means there is strong linear correlation between the heating cost and the three variables, the outside temperature, adding insulation, age of furnace. As discussed before, when it comes to R square, we look at the adjusted R square. So for the simple regression, we looked at R square. For the multiple regression, we look at the adjusted R square to fit the new model. What does it say here? 68.3% or 230% of variation in outside temperature are explained or determined by the three variables. The adding insulation, outside temperature, sorry, heating cost outside temperature, insulation, and age of the furnace. 
for the hypothesis testing for the model, you can do the F test from here. Now let's look at the equation. This is the equation. These are the variables that we need. So you can see that this is the intercept, 140. The outside temperature slope is minus 12, and we know that it's minus because it's inverse relationship between the temperature and the heating cost. The adding insulation, minus 4.1. Also, it's minus because it's inverse relationship. Age of the furnace, that's the slope for it. So our regression equation would be y equal 140.31 or 32 if we run to two decimals, minus 12.32x1, minus 4.10x2, plus 8.53x3, which is the age of the furnace. When it comes to the interpretation of this, it's the same as the interpretation of the slope in simple regression. However, we have to add extra statement, which means what? What's the term? Let's say the age of the furnace. The interpretation of the slope will be what? For each additional year in the age of the furnace, we expect the heating cost to increase by $8.53. But we cannot stop here. We have to say provided everything else remain constant. Everything else means those are remaining constant with the change of the age of the furnace. Otherwise, the interpretation will not be accurate because it's not really 8.52 because it's also affected by the outside temperature and the adding insulation. The same, for example, for the outside temperature. We will say for each additional degree Celsius in the outside temperature, we expect the heating cost to drop by 12.32 provided everything else remain constant. Now, which one has a bigger effect? Which one we can drop when we do the hypothesis test for the individual? We can look at either the t-stats over here based on the critical values or simply we can look at the p-value. So if we're looking at 5% uh, level of significant, then you can see that this is less than 0 0.05, which means reject the null hypothesis and keep the outside temperature. Attic insulation as well, 0 0.03, it's less than 0 0.05, then also keep it because it's reject. And the age of the furnace, 0 0.019 or 0 0.202 also less than 0 0.05, which means we'll also keep it. But if we drop, for example, the level of significant to 2.5%, then this is still less than 0 0.025, same as this one over here. And you can see that the attic insulation at the 2.5 level of significant will be rejected. I sort of failed to reject because p-value is greater than alpha, which means we can drop the attic insulation from our regression model at the 2.5 level of significant. Also here it gives you the confidence level for the slope and at the 95% for each one of them. We also have the plot for all of the variables. So we have the outside temperature, we have the age of furnace, and this is the adding insulation. Okay, so you can see that multiple regression in Excel is the same as simple regression, except that we have to make sure all the independent variables are side by side as columns. We select them in one input range for X and Excel will do all of this for us. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.
to my YouTube channel and look for other videos on statistics in Excel.